Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the contributions of the Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur is known as the father of microbiology because he has contributed a lot in the uh, field of the microbiology. So today we'll be talking about some of the major contributions that he have done. The first one is the downfall of spontaneous generation. The second is the pasteurization. Then after fermentation, vaccinations and control of the silicone diseases are some of the major contributions of the Louis Pasteur. So first we'll talk about the downfall of spontaneous generation. So it was believed that the living things have been originated from the non-living things in the past. So it was believed that the non-living things has been created from the living things. So, and also it was believed that bacteria are the very small, so bacteria are very small particle. So this doesn't need any of the living things to produce. It means the bacteria were reproduced from uh, dust. So it was believed that the bacteria were, you know, bacteria were originated from the dust and it doesn't need no parent. So it was believed, uh, it was believed that in the past. So for the, for to disapprove this continu spontaneous generation, uh, the Louis Passer made a experiment or performed an experiment in which so Passer made a gooseneck shape vessel. So you can see the gooseneck shape. So what he did, he put the, you know, nutrient here as well as in this flax too. So this flax is a gooseneck flax and this is not the gooseneck flax. So he heated so that the, the nutrient will be sterilized. So the nutrient was sterilized. So both, both was sterilized. The nutrient of both this flax was sterilized and he put so, for some days, uh, for some days in environment and it was observed that in the gooseneck shaped there was no bacterial growth so there was no bacterial growth whereas in this uh, in this uh, basils there was the bacterial growth so what actually happened was that so the ear contains the microorganisms so the ear contains the microorganisms so these microorganisms has gone into the flax and the microorganisms growth is has been here but actually what happens in this case so in this case so you know the ear microorganisms will be settled in this goose neck step. so it will be settled here so it will be settled here so it won't be unable to reach to this part so there was no bacterial growth but there was the bacterial growth which confirmed that so bacteria needs the parent uh, parents to uh, you know originate and the bacteria uh, are present in the ear so that was probed so then after there is the next contribution called the pasteurizations so at that time uh, there was you know spoilage of the wine so there was the major spoilage of the wine pasteurization uh, so pastor used to work in the fermentation of wine so he used to work in the fermentation of wine and there was the spoilage of wine so what did he do is that spoilage of wine so in order to reduce the spoilage of wine he initiated or he developed a technique in which if we heat any of the liquid at 63 centigrade for 30 minutes then it will uh, what it will do it will destroy the or kill the microorganisms that is present in the in the wine or the any kinds of the liquid but it is unable to destroy some of the spore former bacteria so spore former bacteria uh, won't be you know that won't be destroyed no kill but it can kill the bacteria that is uh, that is non spore former so this technique has been used at the time in the europe in order to avoid the spoilage of the wine so next is the vaccination so the vaccination so louis pasteur had developed the vaccinations of rabies so at that time it was one of the uh, rabies was one of the major disease and there was a lot of street dogs so vaccination rabies vaccination was developed similarly he accidentally discovered the chicken cholera vaccination and he also discovered the anthrax 
vaccination so what actually he did was that he he obtained a pure culture he obtained a pure culture he attuned the pure culture so attuned means he make it weak so he attuned the cultures and inoculated to healthy chicken or inoculated to healthy chicken suppose if we are going to do the make the vaccination of chicken what actually happens so if you inoculate it into the if we inoculate the weak culture into the healthy chicken that what actually happen is that immunity increases that means secretions of antibody which means antibody development happens so if this happens if there is the increase in uh, immunity if infections comes or if there is the if anthrax uh, anthrax ba anthrax bacteria you know comes into the healthy chicken then healthy that this anthrax bacteria will be killed so in this way vaccination has been developed by the Louis Pasteur okay so next is the fermentation so actually you know in the past it was believed that fermentation was the chemical process so it was a chemical process it was believed that one but but you know whenever he does the fermentation he obtained the different test you know different test of wine so what he concluded from this study that if there is the one organisms if there is the involvement of one organisms then all wine will have same test so what does this mean is that this organisms is responsible for the fermentation organisms is responsible for fermentation so actually it is a biochemical reaction so actually it is the biochemical reaction uh, biochemical reaction in which the enzymes are synthesized enzymes are synthesized by microorganisms so he f in he, he found that microorganisms was responsible for the fermentation 